Hello and welcome to another video. This was a question that was sent in on my previous stream, I think. Maybe it was two streams ago? I don't know. Uh, but the question was, I'm writing a generic sequence-like class. How do I implement getItem? Because I have to handle slices and integers and all sorts of other stuff. Um, but yeah, how do I, how do, I do that? Um, and so I explained it on stream, but I will re-explain it here. All right, so we're talking about typing today. Uh, we're talking about MyPy. I do plan to do a video introducing MyPy at some other point, but I haven't done that yet. So we're going to just, you know, assume you know a little bit about typing before we get started. And we're going to be using MyPy, which is a type checker, and uh, that'll help us demo this today. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to write the class first, and then we'll type annotate later. Usually I actually go the opposite direction, so I kind of like write out all the stubs of my functions, and then I implement them. Um, but this will... You know, this will be more like the gradual typing approach. So let's open up our file. We're going to make a class, and this class is going to take in... Let's just assume that we're implementing like a, a, a wrapper around a tuple or something like that. Um, so we'll have self, and we'll have, you know, our sequence that we take in. Oh, <laughs> I instinctively went for the type annotation there. We'll, we'll have the annotations later. Uh, Self.list equals list. And we're going to be implementing get item. And um, the way get item works is uh, it will be called for both slices, which will you know take some sequence of elements out of a sequence, uh, and it also gets called for individual integers. So this is kind of like a a two a, a multi-purpose function. And usually, what you would do is you would say if is instance idx uh, slice. And slice is just a built-in type, and it gets created when you do a slice. Um, then what are we going to do? We're going to return a new C that's self.lst of idx. Uh, so this is going to create a new class that's the same, um, you know, same type, but a slice of that. And in the other case, if it's not a slice, we're going to assume it's an integer. Of course, it could be other types, so you would maybe do some additional type checking here, but we're gonna we're gonna rely on our static type checker instead, so we don't have to add that extra code. Uh, and hopefully that the underlying sequence type would raise the proper exception. Like if you pass a stir in there, you'll get a um, type error value error or something like that. Um, but yeah, if it's an integer, you would do this. Uh, so in this case, we return a, a subsequence, and in this case, we return the individual element. And if we run this, you know, if we do C of one, two, three, um, let's actually put a wrapper here so that it's easier to see what's going on. Return type self dot name. Um, self dot lst yeah something like that actually let's just run this interactively because that'll that'll work just fine so if we make a c of integers you can see that we <laughs> you can see that we get that back um and if we access the first element of it or the 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 oneth element of it you'll see that we get our integer back and if we do a slice, so one colon, you'll see that we can, you know, properly slice this. So this this basically works. Now the question becomes like, how do you type check this? And so I'm going to start by doing the easiest types first. Uh, actually, since our class is generic, uh, this list could be any type, and that means this return value could be of type t, and this would be c of type t. Uh, we're going to import type var and generic to make our class generic. From typing import type var from typing import generic, and of course I would probably sort those, but you know, use an import sorter, don't, don't sort them manually, <laughs> but I'm doing that manually anyway. Uh, generic t, oh I forgot to make t, t equals type bar t. This is just saying that we'll have a generic type variable called t, and this class is generic based on that type variable. And um, I'm typing import sequence, We'll make list any sort of sequence type, sequence of t. This just means that it's like a list or a tuple or something similar to that. And uh, since I type annotated one of the parameters of double under init, this arrow none is not necessary, it's implied. Uh, but I like to put it anyway, just, just to make sure. 
Um, yeah, and so now we come to, well, let's let's do Repper, that one's also easy. Uh, and now we come to get get item, and uh, we want to make sure that my pie knows this uh, sort of dichotomy of types here. Let's let's do it with union and show what doesn't work first off from typing for union. And actually, this will be useful because we'll reuse this union later anyway. Uh, so it, IDX can be a union of slice and int. It could be either of those types, so either an integer or a slice. And this will return either uh, C of T or it'll return T. So this will either be union C of T uh, or T. And you would have to quote this because uh, it's a <laughs> C is not completely full for fully formed at the time that this is referenced. So you would either quote it like that or you would use from future import annotations. And this is Python 3.7. And above. Um, let's assume that we have, you know, nice things. So we'll we'll do that. So this does work. Um, we run mypy on that file. You'll see that mypy says success, no issues found. However, it's not as precise as it could be, and it causes it will cause some problems in other parts of your code. So if you did reveal reveal type. Uh, C123, well, let's just make a instance. One, two, three. And if we did reveal type of instance one colon, so this is a slice, this should always be of type CT. However, MyPy will tell us that that is still a union. And this is the problem. This is what we want to solve with our type annotations. And you'll also notice that if we did reveal type of inst one, this should be integer. Um, but you'll see that we get we get union for both of those, and that's the problem. And the way to fix this is by using overloading in MyPy. So we'll import overload from typing import overload. And what overloading lets you do uh, in other languages is decide um, you know decide which function to call based on the types passed into it. Now, Python doesn't quite have something like that. I guess there's single dispatch, which is a little bit new in Funk Tools, um, but it doesn't have that kind of as a native syntax. And we're simulating that by using an instance check here, uh, a type check, essentially. But we can signal to the type checker that that is how our function works by defining our overloads in that way. And the way you do that is you use the overload decorator and you define the, the several different ways that the function can be called, and then you leave the implementation with the union at the bottom. So this, you know, even though we wrote this before and it's it's wrong, uh, we're gonna leave that at the bottom. So the first overload that we have is, you know, just taking an integer and that returns T. So this is kind of our easiest overload. And for these, you don't have to implement these at all. Uh, it's usually suggested to just use an ellipsis here, which says, you know, there is no implementation, don't worry about it. And you'll add another overload for the slice. Def get item self idx slice. And in the slice case, we're returning c of t. Uh, and that's all you really need to do to tell MyPy, hey, no, notice that these are, these are, you know, <laughs> these are overloaded. And that these types will be different. So now if we run this, or if we type check this, <laughs> why is this, why am I? Did I press some button on my key? <laughs> What's going on? The arrow key is no longer ringing. It's only in this tab. Okay, there was something weird going on. Anyway, it's fixed now. <laughs> uh, but you'll see that uh, this type is now revealed as C of int, and this type is revealed as integer. So everything worked out. Anyway, hopefully this was helpful. Uh, if you have additional things that you want to see or other typing related stuff or Python or Git or whatever the heck you want to want to see, you know, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.